Hey everybody, it's Jesse here at the Birmingham Zoo. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm here in the trails of Africa at our tortoise habitat, and we're gonna check in with Kate Davis, our school programs manager, and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about our creep of Aldabra tortoises here at the zoo. Hope you enjoy. At Birmingham Zoo, we have four Aldabra tortoises in our Aldabra squad. This is Waldo, one of our females. You can tell Waldo by how smooth her shell is. Out of our four Aldabra tortoises, uh, her shell is definitely the smoothest. This is Yang, one of our male Aldabra tortoises. He is actually one of our bigger Aldabras, clocking in at around 380 pounds. Now he is in his mid to late 40s, but they can live to be in their hundreds. No one knows exactly for sure how old they can be because they often outlive their trainers. But there is a documented case of one being over 200 years old. I already messed it up. Just to give you guys a size reference of how big these guys are, this is, again, a good shot of Yang here. So like I said, he is over 350 pounds. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh, but I am 5'6", and that gives you a good indication of just how big these guys actually are. This is Chi Chi, another one of our female Aldabra tortoises. The males of the species generally get uh, larger than the females, usually having about 100 pounds on them. This is Chong, our fourth and final Aldabra tortoise in the squad. He is our other male, and I have just been informed that one of his favorite activities is a bath, so we're going to get a clip of that as well. This is Chong here, enjoying his bath. And he is being bathed by Natalie, one of the animal care professionals here at the zoo. How often do you give him baths? Whenever I have the hose out and he follows me around. <laughs> <laughs> Fossil records indicate that giant tortoises were once found on almost every continent on Earth, except Antarctica and Australia. By 1840, many species of giant tortoise had been driven to extinction by European sailors. Luckily for the Aldabra tortoise, it is from a remote location between northern Madagascar and Tanzania, the Aldabra Atoll. Thanks so much for joining us today. And please remember that you can still support the zoo by going to www.birminghamzoo.com donate and giving to our emergency animal fund while we are still closed to the public. Thanks for being part of the Birmingham Zoo family, and we'll see you soon.